Welcome to Floral Designing with Luann. This is my video series on wedding flowers and I'm going to be concentrating on bridal bouquets with this video. I'll show you how to make a round stephanotis bouquet that can be easily adapted to the colors of your wedding scheme. I start with a grand wedding bell holder which I like because its large head of oasis can support a large amount of flower stems. You'll see that stephanotis comes already plucked and in 20 blooms to a pack. But you'll also need the stephanotis stems, which is vital to keeping those buds fresh in your wedding bouquet. You may also want to invest in some pearl-headed pins, whether colored or white, to create that finished look for your stephanotis once it's in your bouquet. Soak the stephanotis stems, pluck the bottom off of the bloom, and then insert the stem carefully into the flower, being careful not to damage the petals. These are very delicate, so you may want to spray them with a flower sealant. I also cut the pearls with a wire cutter, and then I separate the stems and keep them that way until I'm ready to put them in the bouquet. Be sure to mist them well with a flower sealant to keep them fresh. After your stems are all put on picks, then you'll want to start on your bouquet holder. I'm going to create a bottom of white stock to cover up the mechanics of my oasis and the cage. I cut the stock in three different stems called florets and then began inserting them into the floral bouquet holder. You may want to use a stem adhesive to make sure that these thick stemmed flowers will actually stay in place. Don't worry about being too exact with this design. At this point, we just want to cover up those mechanics of that green foam and that white cage. So insert the stems of the florets evenly all over the floral bouquet holder. You can see how I'm beginning to develop a general shape of a round bouquet. But it's when you start inserting the stephanata stems that the bouquet really begins to take shape. Eventually it turns into a round circular bouquet where the stephanatus is is set out farther than the other flowers so they are more prominent. Now comes the fun. You can start inserting the flowers of your choice, such as pink ostomeria, which comes in a lot of other colors, to create your own color scheme. There is so many flowers that you can insert into this to make it your own, such as blue delphinium, and just insert it at random here and there in the bouquet. You'll notice as I'm putting these other colors of flowers that I generally push them into the bouquet deeper so that the stephanotis is the most prominent of all the flowers in this bouquet. So whether you use red standard roses or whether you use the miniature spray roses, such as you find in these delicate little pink blooms, you can see how you can easily turn this bouquet and give it a lot of different looks that can match your wedding day. Even putting a variety of flowers gives it a totally different look. I've tried to create a site for the do-it-yourself bride that is easy to navigate and will give her lots of ideas. I know I had to start out with lots and lots of pictures because that's how brides get ideas. So you'll find the photographs of wedding bouquets to cakes, church florals, and more. I have an easy to do follow link that will show you article after article that has all kinds of different pictures for you to look at and to get different ideas, whether separated by type, season, or more. You'll even see pictures of wedding bouquets. You'll see articles on how to buy your flowers online. My store is separated into easy to find sections, whether it's on wedding bouquet holders, centerpiece supplies, things for the church, or just plain old re reception decorating. Whatever you choose, you'll see how it's laid out. I also have more free Designing with Luann videos out there so that you can learn how to make your own cascading bridal bouquets. You can also learn how to do your own corsage work. I even show you step by step how to do those large altar sprays. I'll always bring you up to date on the last and the newest things to date that's come out in wedding designs and supplies. Be sure to check out my website you'll find it at www.weddingflowersandreceptionideas.com. Thanks, and I look forward to making your wedding beautiful.